We are out doing what we do best, which is going for a family walk and going to grab something to eat. The funny thing is we actually had something in the oven already, which was a roast chicken. But we just thought instead of eating that boring old roast chicken, we would go out and get something to eat from a place that I used to eat at a ton of times called Dairy Freeze. Well, we call it the Steak on a Bun place because what they have is Steak on a Buns, which are so, so good. They've recently renovated, so we haven't been there in about a year, maybe even more. We're gonna check it out though and see what it's like now that it's been renovated. It is on St. Clair in Caledonia in the city of Toronto. Stick on a bun place. <laughs> stick on a bun, stick on a bun, stick on a bun, stick on a bun. Like if it's not embarrassing enough holding this thing walking down the street, I've got these two acting up behind me. Okay, we'll see you. We'll see you when we get there. Pizza shirt. What does it say on the side? Mm. Say? Peas out. Peas out. Tell us about your favorite type of pizza. Mushroom, bacon, and pepperoni. We're walking right now along Corso Italia, which is along St. Clair between Dufferin and roughly Caledonia, which is where we're heading. This is an Italian neighborhood of Toronto. Much more Italian in the past than it is now. A lot of the small businesses are just changing hands. A lot of people are getting older. A lot of the Italians that lived here either moved away, and a lot of them are just over retirement age, and I don't want to say dead, but <laughs> they're not young people anymore. So, but there still is an Italian character to the neighborhood. There's still like a cheese place, which I'm gonna flip this around, spin you guys around and show you that. Uh, and a lot of other eateries and stuff that are still very Italian. Here we go. So these are the kind of businesses I was telling you about that are sort of, there were a lot of them, but they're starting to go out of business. Like that one, they're going to be retiring. <laughs> All right, we're coming up on Dairy Freeze. So uh, where we're going, Dairy Freeze, is on the other side of the street. Now, the weird thing about this place is that they call it Dairy Freeze, so in my mind I think of like, oh, ice cream and whatnot, but it's actually all about the steaks. So I think they should actually rename that place and just call it Steak in a Bun. That's actually the real attraction. So let's go. All right, here we are. This is the renovated version. I haven't been here in Yeah. Hey everyone, we've arrived here at Dairy Freeze with Better Order. Got these fries, which I'll show you. And, uh, Niall, you want to show your burger? Yeah. I got a um, classic uh, steak in a bun. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do like it with uh, some stuff on it, as Kelly would say. So I got uh, tomato, lettuce, barbecue sauce, ketchup, and onion. Delicious. Killian, talk about yours. This got nothing on it. It tastes already pretty can good. Show, can you just lift the bun to show people? Lift the bun. But here's mine. So we're gonna show. Hi. So he's getting it. All right. The great thing about the fries here is these little sticks. It's kind of loud in here. Apologies if you can't hear as well. They're delicious. This place is renovated since the last time I've been here. And it's really, really nice. It's kind of an orange, kind of a retro vibe, um, diner vibe. So I'm just gonna try my steak on a bun now. Mm. Tastes how I remember it, which is kind of rubbed with garlic and grilled. I think the best in here is the steak on a bun. 
I know people come here for hamburgers and ice creams and stuff, but my favorite thing are the fries and the stick. I love the stick that holds the fries. Four. Wow. Now, what are you thinking of? Uh, what's your experience like? So the thing, um, I don't know if they're like making them bigger, but like physically, like the sandwich is like really huge. And I actually don't remember it being this big. Um, so you actually get a lot of uh, steak in the bun. And, uh, it's good. It's, um, you know, the trick is sort of getting the right combination of toppings. It's actually so bright in here that I put my sunglasses on. I'm going to spin you around a bit and you'll see it just got to be around 6 p.m. and this place got super busy. Food is just as good as I remembered it, so that's always good. All right, we just finished up at Dairy Freeze across the street. We're in this pretty park now, which is just across the street from it. We really loved what we ate. Killian, what did you think of your steak on a Kaiser? It was uh, good. Mine was really amazing. I just got lettuce and tomato on it. it tasted so fresh. The meat was really well marinated and had a really nice grill flavor. Fries were just as I always remember them. I love eating them with those little tiny wooden sticks. It's like my favorite part of coming to this place. It has not changed in maybe 35 years, maybe even longer than that, except for the renovation. So it's a lot nicer because it was getting a bit drab and dingy, uh, but they've completely renovated the inside. Staff's really nice, food's really good. I say if you're in Toronto and you're in this area, you definitely have to check it out. Thumbs up. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Yes, if you like and comment and subscribe, we know that you like these videos and we will make more of them. Thanks everyone, bye. Bye.